Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can intercept a request with Tweak. This is the website that we're going to use to demonstrate Tweak capabilities. On the left, you have a simple UI that will display the data from a HTTP request once you click on the button. On the network panel, we have two HTTP requests that were already triggered. We're going to focus on the request 5A3. Now, I'm going to copy the response of this request. We open Tweak and we add a new configuration. We type the URL of the request that we want to intercept. Characters file tree. We can change the HTTP method accordingly, but in this example, we are intercepting a GET request. We go over the JSON editor and paste the response payload that we've copied before. We can format it and modify the payload. I'm going to change the name field to TweakWorks. Enable the extension. And we go back to the website and we click on get characters data. The name changed to TweakWorks, and the extension is now batch with value one, which is the number of requests intercepted. Now notice also that on the right you still have the original HTTP request untouched, meaning that the original response payload status and response headers will still appear on the network panel. This is because Tweak acts as a middleman between your web application and the browser network layer. If you open Tweak again, you'll notice that in this configuration, there is one request intercepted. In the description, you can find links to Tweak and other videos. Ciao.